Welcome back. With so many people migrating to AmpleNote from apps such as Evernote or Obsidian, we get asked a lot about folders or notebooks. So in this video, let's look over how to organize notes into folders in AmpleNote. And in the next one, let's analyze how to use tags and what new possibilities they unlock. In AmpleNote, tags are the same thing as folders. I can see the list of my tags in the sidebar on the left-hand side. Clicking on a tag will select it in the search bar and only show me the notes that have that specific tag. This is similar to visiting a folder or opening a notebook in a traditional note-taking app. Also, if I click on a hierarchical tag, AmpleNote will expand it and show me its subtags. This is equivalent to opening a folder and browsing its subfolders. So, because of these two properties, namely being able to filter notes by their tag and the ability to create nested tags, tags are perfectly equivalent to traditional folders. If I want to emulate a folder organization system, all I have to do is make sure that every note has exactly one tag, just like every note would be part of exactly one folder. To do that, and to mimic how folders are usually created, I can use the sidebar, find the triple dot menu, and choose Create New Tag. This is equivalent to creating an empty folder. Let's say I will create a new folder called Archive. Might be also nice to create a subfolder for every year, such as archive slash 2024 and archive slash 2025. Now, with my folder hierarchy in place, I can start creating notes inside any folder using the triple dot menu next to the corresponding tag. This is slightly quicker than creating an empty note and then manually adding it to the right folder by tagging it. In this example, I created a tag called archive to hold notes and projects I no longer need. But in reality, I wouldn't really create new notes straight into the archive. Instead, I would be adding existing notes to this folder as they become irrelevant. And in order to move a note to a different folder, I can select it, remove its old tag, and add the tag that corresponds to my new folder. Or, with both the note and the folder visible, I can drag it from the note panel and drop it in the tag panel. I could also archive an entire folder. To do that, I find my folder in the sidebar list and then simply drag it under the corresponding archive year. And just like with traditional folders, I can also quickly delete the contents of a folder if I navigate to the corresponding tag settings and choose Delete all notes with this tag. This is like emptying a folder of all its files and leaving an empty folder behind. In AmpleNote, tags and folders are essentially the same. As long as you make sure every one of your notes is assigned exactly one tag, the tag organization system can completely mimic a folder structure for your notes. That said, if you'd like to learn more about tags in AmpleNote, and what they bring on top of the folder functionality, check out the next video in the series.